Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach the simple meeting schedule system programming in Java. Uh, these are the columns available in the me meeting schedule system. Meeting name, description, start time, duration, start date and meeting option and uh, number of participants. Right? So let's do how to do the program. Let me see step by step. So let's first I am going to go to the database. I am going to create the new database right here. So here I am going to create the database. I have created the uh, company name. Simply we have to write skills. Right? This is company name. Company as a meeting. So we have to meeting. It's a table meeting. Right. Meeting as a these are the columns, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We, need, we have a seven columns uh, along with the ID uh, eight. Right. First meeting ID. This one should be the ID. So eleven length should be eleven. Index primary go. Auto incremented. Our second column should be the meeting name. I just copy this one and control B to paste here. We have to get rid of, of the spaces. It's not in database. We have to we have to type without spaces, right? The second is description only. We need only this meeting description. This also we will be put it as a text description. After that, start time. Control C to copy. Control V to stay start time. Uh, we have to watch or we have to put it as a watcher. After that, we have to that as a duration, duration of the meeting, we have to put the hours. Here we have to put the another thing is the start date. We have to write start date, control C to copy, control V to paste start date as well. Out of that, we have to write a meeting option, control C to copy option. Meeting option, we have to write copy and paste it here. Meeting, right? meeting option. This also we have to put it as a simple letter. Right. Get rid of the Spaces start date, we have to put it as a watcher. This all we have to put it as a watcher. After that, we have to write this one number of participation. We have to write participants. In text, we don't need anything else. It's a text. We have to. We, we will be able to type long length, okay, inside the text, right? As a description, hit save button. Hit save, right? Your data, data, all the data should be saved, right? You have created the database successfully, right? Now let's move into the NetBeans and create the table, uh, create the form, right? So let's go to the file, new project, select Java, Java application, click next. Please check create Minecraft. So you have to uncheck it. This is one I have to create a skills. This is a company name you have to give skills. Present the key. Your project is created successfully here. Inside here, we have to write here new JFrame form. Here, are meeting. The form should name I am going to give it as for the uh, meeting. Click finish. Right. So, empty form. Right. First, I am going to add the libraries to connect the database, uh, MySQL database. Uh, I already explained my previous tutorial how to download the MySQL client and all the stuff I have uh, taught, right? I no need to uh, taught again by again. I uh, I already put the videos, right? Okay. If you are not watch my basic videos, you just go to my tutors funny and I uh, I gave the links below. You just go and watch my previous tutorial, basic credit tutorial and come, right? Right click, add jar. I have to import them. This book. Hold on the control key down and get this one, right? Okay. Simply go and go to the Google and type MySQL connector for Java. You will be able to connect this, uh, get this one. You just uh, get this and download this one. And you have to extract, uh, put into this libraries. It is coming successfully. Now here we have to design the form. Okay. Very simple. Form you have to design. Now first what I am going to do is here, first I am going to uh, drag, uh, select this one, go to source, here we have to source, we have to, we have to change the layout type, 
so control f if you press control f on your keyboard you can get this fine button fine uh, text field here type ui you can have a this one this one should be the here you have to change the user interface you have to type metal right metal you just right click and run it you can check here metal right simple user interface right now here first what i'm going to see here we have to drag one panel select this one properties now border here border we have write a bevel uh, soft bevel border press it ok right now here we have to drag one label above here we have to write meeting shadow this meeting shadow we have to control C copy select this one detect back uh, face it here here have to properties font bold 24 characters right meeting shadow this is 80 right after toggle right now let's select the frame properties code generate center close it now let's run and check now it's working okay it's working the things perfectly now what i'm going to see here we have to simply have to i guess the one First, I will create a form. Simple form we have to create it. Right. Meeting name. Just control C to copy. This one we have to drag one label. Right click, edit text, back, control V to paste. Whatever you have copy. The same label, control C to copy, control V to paste, get another copy. You have to do the things. It's very simple. It is easy to uh, be. We can complete the uh, program very simply. Okay, the second description. Select edit text back. Uh, control V to paste the second this second text label. Con this one control C to copy. Control V to paste below. Get the another one. Here also we have to edit text. Uh, edit text. We have to type this one start time. Copy this one. Edit text back. Paste it. This control C to copy. Control V to paste. get another copy. Put it here. Right click and edit text, go and this text, duration, control C to copy, paste it. Duration means it's a uh, meeting duration, right? How many hours of the meeting, right? That's the meaning of duration, start time of the meeting, the meeting description, you have to type the meeting description, meeting name, what's the mean, uh, name of the meeting, right? You have to type that, right? okay? Right, this is the thing we have, right? After that, we need another thing. This control C to copy, control V to paste. Another thing here is start date, control C to copy. This one should be the yeah, start date. At the same time, control C to copy, control V to paste. Is another thing, thing is uh, this one is uh, meeting option, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Simply control C to copy, control V. This one should be the uh, this one. After that, this one participants number of participants meeting options mean weekly or monthly or daily meeting that is a option right okay this is the thing we have to do simple right it's not a hard okay program it's very okay now here we have to increase the font select this one or on the shift key down on select all things right click properties font property bold 14 click ok you can have a everything right now here what i did here is going to do here is i want to drag the text fields so we have to arrange them a little bit right perfect now we need a text fields meeting description you can have a text area if you need simple text area description is a little bit okay after that we need a text with the same text with control c to copy control v to get and paste it below 
time starting time we can type here duration this also control C copy control we just get the duration after that start date date we have to pick the date picker that's easy stuff J calendar sorry not this this one date chooser just click how to download this one i have already explained in my previous tutorial how to add the jar all as well it's very simple you can download from the internet you just go and search j calendar j calendar jar so you will be able to get the jar you after you download it, you have to add it into the uh, swing container right you have a uh, this one right you have to go to the palette and you have to drag here to option here right I hear this one. Palette, swing component after download, and you have to import the jar over here. Right? That's the thing you have to do. Okay, after download the J calendar, right? Meeting option, you have to drag the option, uh, you have to, we have to put it one text field here. Okay. Meeting option. After that, here we have to write a participation. And the same text field, control C copy, control C, simple participation. This is the only thing we 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 having, right? We having this. This is the only thing we having, right? So here we have to do the other things. We have to delete them. Instead of that, we have to put in a uh, radio button as well. This one. We have a choice. Two choice week weekly monthly weekly monthly meeting control seat copy control video basically get the end of a p it's monthly month we have to arrange the meeting monthly right this is the t uh, things available uh, this is very simple after that uh, we have to put the another button here is save button here right say we have to drag one save button over here below Select this one properties. We have to change the font as uh, with bold 14th. Okay. Now let's run and check. Right click, run file. It's working perfectly here. It's working perfectly well. So working perfectly well here. So Jagan is working perfectly well. As a Java look, it's so very simple. Now let's make the programming. Now the first part I am going to do is here you have to change the name of the text field. Select right click edit text backslash to remove the access text. First one I am going to change the name of the text box txt meeting m name mean meeting name. Right. Second description txt mdes. Right. You have to give the proper name then it is easy to understand. Third the time edit text backslash to remove. Select again change variable txt is time. This one should be duration. Uh, edit text backspace to remove. Select again the text field. Change variable txt tur duration. Date change variable txt date. Or this one should be weekly. This one change it r d b this is the data radio button week the same thing can be copied right? this one should be change variable monthly monthly right? type like this right it's easy to understand that right so see this one backslash remove numbers tfc number of function tfc t number Right, this is the thing we have to do. Right, now let's do how to do the task. Now let's see. Right, now what I'm going to say here, this one uh, we have to first we have to establish the database connection first. First, I am going to establish the database connection first. So, first go to the source. So, I'm going to establish the database connection. First, what I'm going to say, we have to write the 
uh, implement the uh, namespace so you have to write java dot sql package we have need all the sql libraries right after that we have to write the connection object so connection con prepare statement pst right this is the thing first we need after that we have already made the connection right i i already done this off so, so that i no need to explain this one right so here we have we no need this one right we have to right. now here first what i did here is i have created the connection method right uh, starting here and closing here after inside the try we have to register the mysql driver first i already uh, here I have added the MySQL library uh, connected in, inside the My, MySQL libraries. So you have to register them. After that, you have to provide the path of the database path. My database reside on localhost, which name is Kills. This is a user credential of MySQL. Your root is a username, password is blank. Right? This is simple. This connection method, control C to copy. Control B to paste below uh, uh, inside the constructor. When the program is executed, uh, this constructor will be initialized. This method should be called. Okay. After that, what I am going to do is here. We have to run, select the save method uh, button, uh, event action perform. Here we have to write the remaining code. Right. Now here first what I am going to do is here. First, this all the text fields we have to assign to the relevant variables. So, first one, this one should be the txt m m txt first you have to write string. This one should be meeting name meeting name m name equal txt m name dot get text. However, the second one should be description meeting string m description. T X T D description get text M description dot get text dot get text right after that the third one should be the time this also your string string uh, meeting time M time equal T X T time dot get text what's that name here put it here this here control seed copy paste here dot get text after that duration txt duration same thing string durs duration txt dur dot get text after that we have to write start date so here have to write string m date we date txt start txt what is the name we have put it here ah, here we have a this one should be the our uh, this one is a date format we have to call it like this simply we have to write that this one should be the data calendar this is a uh, J, J calendar so we have to write first simple we have to write simple we have to enable the namespace right so you have to this car should be added above so you simply add that simple date format to create the uh, object here new this is a date format we have to display the date year month date right so you have to write like this after that the date start date start date date this one should be the name of the control C to copy paste it over here simple right after that this one radio button radio button also it's it also simple I already written here weekly right here it should be monthly right okay, here we have to create the variable above string option options this control seat copy and will paste it over here right now here 
I have created the radio button. So we have a uh, two choice. This one, this. Okay. So here we have right here this. We have created REV weekly. This one monthly. Right. So if REV weekly selected. Okay. This. Uh, this we have create the variable. We have to uh, write here is weekly. It is assigned to the variable here. If the if, if the user check monthly, it is assigned to the option monthly option. This is the thing we have to do. Very simple. Finally, participation number participation. So we have to create the again this control seed copy. This one should be or the name of the text field. Same thing control seed copy. Paste it over here. Participation. This is thing we have right. Okay, very simple. Okay, so you have work with this one. Very simple. Okay, very simple. We have write like this. Okay, okay. Now first what I am going to do is here. We have try to insert code, right? So we have to write a prepare statement. We have to insert code. I already written. We have change it instead of writing again. But it take too much time, right? So here this insert code. The prepare statement. This is the prepare statement object I have created above. Oh, PST. We have to call it here. And we have to add it as a surrounded with a try and catch. Same thing. Control X to cut off. Paste it here. Right. Now here, prepare statement. Insert into which table you are going to insert the record? Uh, meeting table. So you are right meeting. Thing. So what are the columns? We have, we have specify the columns names. So first one should be here. We have to control C to copy this one. Paste here. Meeting name. Our duplicate description. Control C to copy. Control V to paste over here. Starting time. Control C to this one. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Starting time. Right. This uh, we need a space. We have to. We have to rid of get rid of the space also. This is not a this is a problem decal, right? We have to get rid of, of the spaces, right? I just copy and paste. That's why we we get this spaces. You have no need to put the spaces over here, okay? It's a problem while you are insert the record, right? If you get the spaces, right? I just copy and paste for the database. That's why I take this one. Okay. So write the names properly. Our duration, the same thing, control C to copy. So duration. Our starting date, control C to copy. Control V to state date. Meeting option. Comma, my user. Final one. This is a participants, this one. Yes, it's here. Right, this is the columns available. How many columns? You have to uh, calculate it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven columns are there. Okay. We are setting to the relevant variable. First one, this one. M name, second description, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Third one should be time, control C to copy, control V to paste here. On duration, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Out the options, paste it here. We need another two. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. Six, seven. Start it. Participants. Right. This is the thing we have right. Okay, this is the thing we have right. Okay. This, this sequence of parameters. Uh, are followed by the sequence of uh, columns in the database table right this is the uh, columns it's followed by the this sequence of parameters right this is the stuff we are doing in the database right now here we have to provide the this one right when the record is added right so we have to this all the stuff we have to close it right now here we have to add the j pan right so okay now here this meeting and the message we have to get right after that why the problem is here i think Sense. 
So options, what is the problem? Variable might not not have been initialized. Control C to copy, this control V to paste here. I think the problem is this one, we have to put it here, press above. Is that I think okay? Okay, but this is a string, it's a variable I have created, and we have to put it here like this. Okay, simple. Okay, now it's working. Now, what I did here is now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Okay, after that, we have to all the things are correct. Uh, PSC dot execute update. Okay, if the all the queries are successfully, we are called the execute update for inserting the record, passing to the this state in status. If the state is one, uh, meeting completed meeting meeting added we have to get the message meeting added meeting can added or meeting otherwise meeting fail right that's the thing let's check whether it's working fine or not right click run file working meeting name leave meeting it's a sports meeting sports sports meeting description uh, last talk about last match talk about final final match final football match football match football match, match. meeting start time start time three right. duration Two hours starting date we have to give the tomorrow date monthly uh, meeting option weekly we have to select you can uh, click uh, monthly as well but it's weekly we have to select uh, participant members 10 members right all are successfully click save button meeting added right now let's check the check on the database browse it's working perfectly well See? weekly is all things are working well okay now i want to display the records into the table j table so how to do the task it's very simple I'm going to drag one uh, J table, right? So I drag it from the palette, right? So we have the J table. J table. So drag it. Right. Here we have right uh, this one, right? Uh, change. Uh, we have to write table content columns first we have to write that this one should be there we only write the relevant details only we have to write meeting name meeting name right. start time duration Date. You have to insert another things to right. Date. Option. Meeting option. We have to write only options. Participant members. Right. Number of participations. Number of participation. Parties. Right. Parties. That's it. Shortly we have to write this one. Okay. Only we have to have the essential details, right? Okay, now let's click on this one. We have to remove the default select this one. Uh, table content default rows, we have to remove it. This is the default one. When you are uh, drag the table into the uh,
NetBeans, uh, the JFrame, it defaulted added these rows. We have to remove them. We don't need them, right? That's it. Now let's load the table. It's very simple. I have created the, create the function, right? So I already written the code, so no need to, we, all the things we have to return only. I can also copy this one, paste it over here. This is all the code I will provide in my website. You will be able to download it, okay? You don't worry about that. This one should be the meeting table. Meeting table, right? Select all from meetings. The table name is meetings. Meeting. Meeting, right? We have to add this one as well. This is the vector we have to add. This is the columns here. Columns, what are the columns? We have to, we don't need to catch the catch. We don't need to try this one. First, we have to add the first meeting ID. We need, uh, we have to load the all the columns, right? First, we have to read the, only the columns we have to load. Only first one should be the meeting name we need. Relevant column only we need, right? Meeting name we need, we need to load. Things description. What's the name here over here? You have to same name you have to type, otherwise it won't work. Description. After that, start time. Duration. After the same thing, convert it, copy, convert it, paste here. Start time, duration, start date, meeting option, out of the different participations. This one. Control C to copy, control C to paste this one. Right, this is the thing we have to do. This is the only thing we have to write. Okay, now the same thing, control C to copy this one, but paste inside here call it when the form is loaded this table should load it so we have to call the method inside the constructor of the class right constructor will be loaded first we have to load the uh, database connection after that load the meeting table that's the thing we have to do okay very simple stuff right very simple one you have to do it very simple that's the thing we have to do okay this all the stuff you have to add into the uh, table right so let's run and check whether it's working fine or not it's working here it's, it's working it's added successfully okay it's working perfectly well now if you call the function what happens it's going uh here this one we have to call the save method we have to call it this one as well after add the record we have to call this this method as well so the this one should be loaded so control c copy control v to paste over here if you call it here when the uh, record is added the same time it's updated uh, it's, uh, the record should be saved okay here we have write another meeting trip meeting and trip uh, description go to the trip go to the trip plan I just trip plan trip plan this one trip plan I just type plan plan the uh, plan the trip okay out of the time uh, starting time four o'clock duration one hour starting date tomorrow date right I'll give you the tomorrow date uh, today date or tomorrow I'll give tomorrow date this is the monthly you have to choose parties members five members save meeting at that you can say uh, here at the same time you can view the records into the j table successfully right very simple system you must try this one while doing any error you can ask me anytime thank you for watching